Israel escalated measures against the Hamas-controlled Gaza Strip to a total blockade, including a ban on admitting food and fuel. Country's Defense Minister Yoav Gallant said, calling this as part of a battle against beastly people. This comes after Israel's army declared that its forces were in control of communities in its southern territory near Gaza, two days after Hamas launched a surprise attack. Israel and Egypt have imposed various levels of blockades on Gaza since Hamas seized power from rival Palestinian forces in 2007. We are in control of the communities, military spokesman Daniel Hagari said. However, there still might be terrorists in the area, he said. Israel's chief military spokesman said troops had re-established control of communities that had been overrun while isolated clashes continued. This weekend, Hamas started a war against Israel with the worst massacre of innocent civilians in Israel's history. Hamas was more barbaric and more brutal than ISIS. Let me be crystal clear. Israel will respond with determination and force to their unprovoked war crimes. Hamas murdered hundreds of Israelis, men, women, and children, and took dozens hostage into Gaza. This horrific terror act demands a forceful, determined, and sustained response, which is exactly what we are doing and continue to do. Our Air Force is attacking hundreds of Hamas Islamic Jihad targets in Gaza. We, we, we follow international law while exercising our right and responsibility to protect our civilians. The days ahead will be long and difficult. We have paid a heavy price, but we will restore security to the people of Israel. Let me repeat, we will store security to the people of Israel. Israeli intelligence indicates that Hamas are hiding among Gazan civilians inside Gazan homes and schools, hospitals and mosques. Hamas behaves like ISIS. I repeat, Hamas behaves like ISIS. It's the same strategy to maximize civilian casualties in Gaza and Israel and make you all forget the massacre of hundreds of Israelis that started this war in the first place. We will not forget. Hamas terrorists target Israeli civilians. Israel will target Hamas and Islamic Jihad terrorists wherever they will be in Gaza. We will do whatever it takes to, to protect our people and restore security to Israel. We are also looking to the north as well with full readiness and we are fully coordinated with CENCOM. General Alevi had just finished a conversation with General Kurila and we'll, keep con and we'll keep talking in the next hours again. Whom who attacks us in all over the Middle East will face a decisive attack back. This comes after Israel said that it has brought in special forces to try to wrest control of four sites from Hamas after Tel Aviv formally declared war and gave the green light for significant military steps to retaliate. More than 1,100 people have been killed and thousands wounded on both sides. Fighting continued in several locations. Earlier, another spokesman, Lieutenant Colonel Richard Hecht, acknowledged that it was taking more time than we expected to get things back into a defensive security posture. Israel has responded with its heaviest ever bombardment of the Gaza Strip, killing some 500 people so far.